Hi everyone, Caroline here. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm going to be playing with the uh, Linda Ravenscroft Valentine Moon, which you can get from the Card Hut. And I will leave a link in the description for you, as I always do with anything I use. Uh, but I bought this um, last week and I'm just getting around to playing with it now. So as you can see, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? This is what you get in it. Uh, you get the uh, beautiful mermaid on the moon and the sentiments with love valentine moon my valentine and someone special uh, together with uh, hearts extra hearts and not just the heart but you get this as well which is like a chain so you can have a chain going down from it uh, from here you know so we'll have a play with that and it says four as well so you can have four my valentine or for someone special or with love for someone special you know there's so many things you can do with that it's a really good sentiment set that as it can be used with lots of things as well not just valentine but uh, i mean this can i'm going to do this in pinks and blues but obviously you can do it in red and you can do it in your aquas so yeah it's going to be lovely with that So we'll set her down there, like that. And on here you've got the little heart, and I'm, I'm going to not stamp that bit because I want to use the other, um, the other stamps to do a, a bigger heart going down on that chain. So let's have a play. I'm going to use my Versafine Claire Nocturne. Oops, new stamp. Better redo that. Just if you get that with one of your stamps, give it a rub with a microfiber cloth, just to just to get rid of that stickiness off it and with it being new. So let's put, pop that back down again. Make sure it's in the right place. There we are. Okay. Stamp with my ink now. And as you can see, I'm going to just wipe off that heart there so that doesn't stamp. And it goes down. That's stumped a little bit, but it's not too worry. Still stamped, don't it? That's all right. I'll do it. I should have used my wet cloth to wipe it off, but I didn't. So we'll take it, wipe that off and have a look at what we've got. So you've got all these lovely hearts, haven't you? So you could do a bigger heart going from that heart down like that so hopefully that will sit right there oops sticky sticky Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I like that. Put that back on the carrier sheet. And we're 
going to have fun colouring it now. my black card underneath my messy card so that you can see what I'm doing okay so for the moon I'm going to do that in, um, in some blues I'm going to be using my pencils these are my uh, castle art uh, pencils uh, which are the soft series so uh, I'm going to be doing that this one is called mauve Such lovely detail on Linda's stamps. There are quite a few in the collection um, of the mermaids. I'll give a link to them all that you can buy. It really is hard to choose, you know, which what to get. This colour is called um, Cobalt Blue Light. So I'm just going to do some shading with that. just brings out those uh, those fine details here can you see See, that just brings out that lovely detail. Can you see? Lovely to just sit and colour. to the moon. You see all these wonderful hearts in here, the incredible detail. Incredible detail. And then I'm going to go in with this one that's called a uh, uh, Cerulean or it's Cerulean blue middle it says just to add a little bit of extra shadow colour not too much just some of this in here But it's good to bring in lots of colours. Can you see? Can you see that? It's nice using the pencils because you can get into to the fine detail of it. Um, 
I'm going to use uh, my uh, marker. Sorry, it's got a bit of white paint on there. I was painting. And this is called the Fair Skin Blend. And it's the Tri-Blend Spectrum Noir. So I'll start with her, uh, her skin. I start with my light and go for the next colour down just for shading. and shade where her, her face is uh, bent down. Like that. And then the darkest shade. Just to bring that in there. And you go on the edges of, of the arms. And that makes the middle bit stand out. Can you see where it's light? And that gives you your depth to it. There we are. So her skin is coloured in perfect. And then I'm going to go with a, a series of pinks now. Um, for her top and for her mermaid tail. I'm going to leave the hearts any hearts I find I'm going to leave because I want those darker and I want them to stand out. That was, uh, by the way, that was the a rose pink. And now I'm going to go with a, a grenadine light for shading. Probably do about three different shades once I'm happy with it. Colouring it all in there. Can you see I'm leaving a little bit of that light? Then I'm going to go darker again. This one is called Opera Rose. then the darkest one which is the Bengal Rolls Deep do the, uh, the veins of the tail I'm going to do the tails and the fins in a different colour Uh, she's in a pink and these in the uh, the moon 
going to do in a pink as well. You know, you can choose whatever colours you want. See, it's your work of art. You just enjoy creating whatever you want with it. You can see I've left some white in there and that makes it look like it's standing up. Like that. So I've not done it all completely. And for the hearts, I'm going to do that in a red. And these, this is called Scarlet Red, which is quite apt, isn't it? I just uh, missed a little bit of, in fact, there's a little bit of pink round there. Right. And I'll find the hearts, find all the hearts, and fill those in. miss a bit just fill it in this is called cadmium red Oops, pressed a bit too hard there, didn't I? There we are. Our little hearts in here. Fill those in. Gorgeous. As you keep looking, you keep seeing different things. It's it's amazing. So that's that's that. And um and for her fins, I want to do those in a bit of a, a creamy yellow. So I'm gonna start off with a one that's called golden yellow. And it just adds that extra bit of colour in. You see, if you see you've missed a little bit, you know, just go in and uh, do it. And look, I've missed a lovely big heart here. And then down on the tail fins. Like that. And then this one is called, oops, it's called Naples Yellow. They are lovely pencils to work with. They really are. You can go onto the Castle Arts um, website. Or you can have a look on eBay. I got these uh, uh, on eBay and they'd never been used hardly. I think she'd only used a couple of them, so. Absolute bargain.
And I want to go with a bit of an aqua green for all this in here, which is like the, the sea plants inside that she's sitting on. Like that. You see? And her hair will do in a proper aqua blue. This is called intense blue. I've missed her ear there, haven't I? Lovely. Poor mermaid. She was earless. some of this lovely greenery here so all the sea flowers hearts and forms are all in her hair Nice, isn't it? The um, which one is this one? The cadmium red. So the, I'm going to do the the large hearts, but just leaving like a little bit of white in the corner there, just to make it look the reflection on it. Like that. Same with that one, just a little bit of white in there. Or you can use your white gel pens. If you forget, don't worry. Look at that. Now, I'm going to do the white area with um, a stencil. This, this is one I've got for, from Lavinia quite a long time ago. I'm not sure they still do it. I'll have a look and if they do, I will put a link in. Um, and I'm going to use the Distress Oxide a Speckled Egg. And I just want to do the background in that. Because um, it is a bit of a, a, a like the seagrass thing, but the, the, the hearts. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect for this. Can you see? You don't even need to do this side if you don't want to either. But I'm going to do. I'm going to do that side as well. So it looks like she's uh, she's got all these vines, heart vines coming down from the sky with a bit of a nautical loop to it. with that and that's it you see how what a lovely black background that's made and I have my um, silver uniball pen and as you can see there are like pearls on here but I want to just do a silver or you could even do a gold a gold I want to see it better and just do one little edge of it not the whole thing so you just go and like on the edge of it and that's going in there because there's pearls that's it there you have it. 
It's amazing, isn't it? See these, um, like these vines down? You could do those in gold as well. Just go down the lines that are white and fill in with gold. I'm going to use my grey marker now to uh, outline her and it's the Cool Grey 3, this is a pro marker and it's just to make her look a little bit 3D like you know how I do this I go around and I just go on the very outer edge like that just dot around like that around the heart don't forget it dries lighter so don't think oh that's a dark line it dries quite light but it still has that little bit of a drop shadow so that she's not flat against your card I mean, you can cut out and uh, uh, decoupage if you wish. And that's nice as well. As you can see, as it's lightening, you can light, light, lightening. You can hardly see, but it just gives that. It's just made it pop a little bit, hasn't it? And I want to do that in there where her, where she's sat, and her fins. And I'm going to get a number four now. This is the cool grey four, just to do a little bit darker where I want it darker. Just so that she stood out on the moon there. Like that. I've just added a little bit of a shadow. And there we have it. There's your finished mermaid at the Valentine moon. And um, you can put her on a, whatever colour background you want, whether it's a black background or a pink background. Um, this fits on a 7x7 seven seven card, as you can see, quite nicely. Or you can put a different backing on it. Um, I'll just do a little sentiment as well. I'll just stamp a little sentiment. I'm using my Eureka 101 from uh, Stamps by Me. Uh, it's, uh, it's the best, well I, well I think, for me, it's one of the best on the market. Because this is, a, 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 I think it's eight and a half by eight and a half. Yeah, well, eight and three quarters square, you get in the middle. So that gives you lots of room for your artwork, as well as having all the paint palettes round and um, if you've got rubber stamps you can take this rubber out and have use your rubber stamps which I, I do sometimes I have the red rubber stamps but um, yes it's it's never not stamped perfectly for me and I'm just going to do with love on here that I'm using um, the pretty colors inside magenta perfect 
doesn't it? Here's my little mini cutter as well, again, from Stamps By Me. It's a little three inch by six inch. Pop that on some pink card. A really fun stamp to use isn't it i really love this i'm going to have a go at doing this in all different colors it's going to be a firm favorite if you're not in the group there's the um the card hot inspiration group and i'll leave a link for that for you and i'll leave a link to the card hot website um so that you can Have a look at all the other wonderful stamps by Linda Ravenscroft and another wonderful artist that are on there. So I haven't stuck that down yet, but uh, that will go there. Hope you've enjoyed that. And if you have, give us a thumbs up and thanks very much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.